All right, let's look at working with paths, path animations. So I've already been playing with it, and here's what we're animating here is the actual path of this shape. So I'm going to start over. I'll go to File. I'll choose Clove Project, New Composition, and then we'll take uh, HDTV 1080, 19 to 1080, 29.97, and click OK. And I'm going to grab the pen tool and I'm going to create a path. So first thing I'm going to do is make like a square. I'm going to click, come over, click, hold my shift key, click, hold my shift key, click, come up and click again. And I'll just grab that last point and drag until it's straight. So now I've got an interesting shape here. I'll, I'll set the stroke to white. I can make it red. And I've chosen a, a stroke thickness. So we're going to, we don't have a fill on, there's no fill. If I click here, I can choose to, no, choose to have no fill. I'm going to go down and we're going to look at contents and we're going to look at shape one and we're going to look at the stroke. So I can change the color of the stroke here. I can change the line cap from butt cap to round or projecting. I'm going to leave it back on line. It's not going to make much difference in this case. That's like the ends. And I can do things like with the dashes and the taper. So if I click here, I can choose a number of dashes in here. And then I can choose the offset. And if you see there, you'll see that it's 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 moving, right? So that gives me an idea. Um, I can make this into an animation. So I'm gonna go to offset, click and start the time or the, the stopwatch, go over to a second, grab that offset and drag it to the right. And now I've got a little animation. Right? Let's close this loop a little bit, right? So that's the kind of thing I can do with my, um, with a, just a, 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 a line, a pin, a shape. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to grab the pin tool. I'm going to draw another shape. A little wiggly line here. All right, so if you ever worked with Adobe Illustrator, you probably already know how to use the pen tool. So one of the cool things about all these courses we're teaching is that they kind of build on other elements, right? So now I'm going to go back into shape, contents, shape one, and once again, we're looking at the stroke. Now let's change the color. And then we're going to make it where it looks like a little snake. We're going to butt cap. We're going to go to round cap. Let's round it on each corner, right? And then we're going to go down to dashes. And we can set the number of dashes, right? So the thicker the stroke, the fewer dashes you'll see. And I can animate that like we did last time, right? And set that. Keyframe. I'm only doing a second of animation. Go to the end, grab that dash, and just no. Well, actually, I don't want to change the dash. I want to change the offsets. Let's undo that. Do, do, let's go to offset. Set that keyframe. Let's go to the end and increase the offset. And so now it's. It looks like it's kind of just moving along now, right? So that's kind of cool. Any, any kind of animation trick that you can take and uh, it's going to improve your abilities to understand the application. And when you're creating larger projects, all, all these little exercises are going to help you 
with learning how to build those bigger exercises. 